one side of Australia to the other. That's what Matt Napier has just done with one goal in mind, to end extreme poverty. If there are two things Matt Napier can do well, it's walking and bouncing a footy. <laughs> The 32-year-old's epic journey across Australia began back in February. The footy fanatic set off from Perth with a mission to bounce his way to Sydney, a 4,500-kilometre journey taking in all sorts of Australian terrain, from the dusty desert to the lawns of Parliament House. He even had time to drop into a footy game. Next Saturday night, the Port Adelaide West Coast game, we're actually going on the ground at half-time and getting presented to, to the crowd here, so looking forward to that. Along the way, Matt's worn through five pairs of shoes and six footballs, and he's collected over $100,000 in coins on the road. Awesome. He hopes every cent and every step will bring into focus the plight of more than a billion people living in extreme poverty around the world. Matt just finished his long walk moments ago, and he is enjoying us straight away. Thanks, Matt, for your time, and congratulations. You must be puffed and chuffed. How was yeah. it? Yeah, it's been a fantastic experience walking across the country. Where's um, Gabby? Yeah, oh, there's Wendy. It's been a long five months. Look, you did a similar trip on a bicycle last year. Why do you do these things? Uh, just to raise awareness of world poverty. Um, there's a trip to Nepal about six, seven years ago where I saw extreme poverty firsthand and kids that should have been in school were literally dying of starvation on the streets. And on the flight back home, I thought to myself, why well, should I be so lucky to come back to my previous life here in Australia and leave these poor kids behind? But the only difference was the country we were born into. And why the footy, Matt? Because, you know, a lot of kids... Were you one of those kids that walked around the house bouncing a football and driving his mother mad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. There's always red marks on the roof, Matt. Um, sport also plays an important role in alleviating extreme poverty. It gives kids a sense of belonging, teach them to work together as a team, and they take that back to the community and make their community a better place. We salute you. It's a great thing, and as you say, it reinforces the privilege that we had just by being born here. We could have been born anywhere in the world. Mate, good on you. Really appreciate all the effort you put into it. Put your feet up and the footy down. <laughs> <laughs>